Matt and Zabel Stewart. Welcome back to Guitar Class Lesson Series. So we're going to talk a little bit about some special techniques now, some special effects. And today we're going to learn about hammer-ons and pull-offs. Um, this is a really cool ornamentation technique. And so for instance, let me, uh, I'm going to put my index finger up here on the E string, first dot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my ring finger, that next dot up, and so I'm actually putting it with enough force to make another sound. So if I play this note, that's called a hammer-on. Now the pull-off, so it's a hammer-on, practice that a little bit, and you can do it with any music. So practice that, and you can do it. Practice different finger combinations, but the idea is, to get enough force to sound a second note, okay? The pull-off is not just lifting it. That doesn't give you, you notice the second one's a lot softer. What you actually have to do is pull it sideways a little bit. So I'm actually plucking it sideways. And you notice, as you're, as you're getting a little bit, So I'm getting a little bit when I put it back on. Pull off, and again. So practice that pull off. And now, you can combine the two. So hammer, pull off. That's where you can get trills. And so the idea is enough force to sound the string and pull off with a sideways pluck with enough force to resound the original note. Now this string, uh, the high E string, is easy to practice with because you don't have any other strings getting in the way. As you start getting the lower strings, but it starts getting a little bit trickier because you have other strings to mess with. But the same basic, basic principle holds. So that should give you some ideas on how to get started. Some really useful applications of that, like for instance, D. So, so there's a really nice song by Jennifer Knapp, uh, finally. So you see how with the hammer. So you get some really pretty sounding techniques with that. Using that with existing open chords. Um, so for instance with a C chord, this one's really nice. See I'm doing a hammer hammer with my index. Again, almost any open chord, so for instance, A2 to A. Uh, like with a G. It's a little muddier. But it's, it is in there. Um, trying to think what else. E. We can do a little bit of that in there. Or D minor. Especially open chords, usually when you can hammer one of those fingers on, you can get some pretty cool sounds. So play around with that. But again, that's hammer-ons, and remember the pull-offs, just remember to pluck the finger sideways.